Hey guys, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this dog. Um, I'm going to be going over the colors that I used as well as the kind of paper, um, how I tried to set it so that it doesn't get too wrinkly, and we'll just do a time lapse video and show you from there, I guess. Hey guys, so let's kind of try the intro again. I'm still just getting used to recording myself and being in front of a camera. It's a weird thing. Um, but moving on to the painting, let's, let's get started so we can paint something fun. So the first thing that I do that I learned that makes my pet portraits look really realistic is to block in all of your colors. So you'll want to do this by choosing looking at your reference photo first of all and then choosing the colors that you see represented most clearly in certain blocks of the um, of areas of the reference photo. I went ahead and used my ivory black but in a light wash of that and then um, some burnt sienna in the eyes and again, it's a really light wash. I just go through I look at where the shadows and the highlights are and then I just block in from there So once all those colors are really blocked in, I go through and I start really eyeing certain parts of the portrait, especially the eyes. I feel like, or know that, and I think everyone knows that, the eyes are just what makes you you, or what makes an animal that animal. Um, like we have the same. The eyes are the window to the soul, and I really feel that. Um, I feel like if you don't focus on the eyes enough, you could just be painting any animal out there, any person out there, and it doesn't have their unique spark to it. So again, for my colors, I used a combination of um, China White, Ivory Black, Indigo even, um, because I felt like this dog had a blue base to it. Um, I am not a color theory expert. Can someone please just send me to art school already? I kind of need some instruction. <laughs> no, I've, I've found stuff out online, of course, and it's just my instinct um, looking at a portrait, seeing what kind of tones and values are there, and trying to do my best to just guess and see what makes those colors, like just play around, mix things in, don't be afraid to get dirty, it's painting, just go ahead. So once I get painting, I tend to like to use my really tiny brushes so that I can get into areas again, especially the eyes, um, with really preci precise detail. I really think it's important to make that little water line around the eye um, and to, I almost use my brush sometimes to chisel out areas of paint that I've already added to the area. If I feel that it's too heavy, I can use that tiny brush to kind of wash away and chip away at whatever paint I've put in there. And I can also use it to add in things like a little glisten with um, some of my china white. I know that uh, for the most part in watercolor, you don't really want to add in white, but my style has... Um, kind of, I guess, evolved to a way in, in which I, I do add in white for highlights and details. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, so I think that's enough of me talking. I'm just gonna let you guys sit back and relax and just watch the rest of how it goes. 